Question 315. How can you get a substring from a string? Short answer, there is a method for that. Less short answer, there are actually two overloads of this method. The first one takes only the starting index and gives you all the rest of the string. And the second one gives you the string between a starting index and an end index excluded. You will get an index out of one exception if you provide bad indexes. One last word, there was a time back in the days where the string that was returned would share the same char array as the original string. And this was seen as a memory optimization. First, strings are now built on byte arrays, not char arrays anymore. And second, this was removed a long time ago. Just because if you select just two characters from a very large string that you don't need anymore, keeping this original array was not really a memory optimization.